Here we have a pipette of a product called periacryl. It's a cyanoacrylate designed for dental procedures and you just drip it on to the margin uh, between the gingival margin and the socket seal. I like the violet color so that I can actually see uh, where the periacryl has been applied. They also make uh, clear periacryl also. And I like this pipette because they're single-use uh, pipettes and you can just, um, and there's plenty in this single-use pipette to complete your procedure. So I usually go in and apply it to the gingival margin, go around the periphery of the gingival margin, and I'll do this um, one quick time and that uh, stops any bleeding. You don't want to get the tip of the pipette actually into the blood because then it will begin to set and you'll sort of get stringy uh, periacryl that you have to trim off. So I'll go in one time and then I'll wait a few seconds to make sure it's fully set. Once it's set, I'll go back and maybe do another application or two around the edges to make sure that I've got a really great seal. Once you've got the periacryl in place and everything is secured, the socket seal is fixed in place, then I like to put in a suture just for uh, making sure the, the socket seal doesn't come out once the bond between the gingiva and the socket seal is um, released. And I go in through the top of the socket seal, out the buccal gingiva, bring the suture around, go in through the top of the socket seal, out the lingual gingiva, and then I just tie it. And that this is just a retention suture. Uh, and also if you go through the buccal gingiva, come around, go through the lingual gingiva, you're tying on top of, of the seal and you're not pulling the seal either to the buccal or the lingual like you might do with just one uh, gingival margin. Uh, and in this way it retains the seal, doesn't disturb the bond, and the seal can't come out after the bond is broken between the gingival margin and the seal. After uh, I've sutured things in and everything is solid, I'll go in and trim off any excess periacryl from the adjacent teeth. Here you can see we're rinsing the final product. This is a close-up of the final product. If you have any strands of periacryl left after the application of the periacryl uh, bonding agent, you can simply trim them off with the scissors. You can see the periacryl is rimmed around the border and bonded to the gingiva. The periacryl has really improved our technique. It's made it a lot easier to uh, apply the socket seal. The bond is absolutely uh, superior rather than just suturing. People are sucking on straws or cigarettes. Uh, they are unable to remove any of the graft material with that motion. Also, when you have people inadvertently uh, eating in the area, the socket seal is not depressed into the socket, and we're getting a much better uh, healing result. The uh, socket seal is then removed in about a week because the bond between the seal and the gingival margin is um, released about that point in time. We also feel that using the socket seal produces a better healing result. You'll, when you remove the socket seal, you may see a fibrin clot, you may see immature connective tissue, but the graft is in place and the regenerative process is well underway at this point in time.